Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. We're back with your favorite weekly series, my content predictions for this week in Madden 25. Now, if you fellas are new around here, we do post videos just like this one literally every single day at least three times a day so if you guys like this video you find it helpful or for whatever reason you boys really like me odds are each and every single one of you you guys are in the right place now when it comes to my content predictions every single week i do like to recap what we kind of saw last week in mutt when it comes to content first things first on monday we saw akas now with these akas we saw tyree kill and night train lane it was also the free token aka weekend or week i guess you could call it and i personally did not spend my aka tokens on that aka tyree kill or night train lane we got an overall increase later in the week we kind of knew that was coming so i hope a lot of you guys held on to your aka tokens tuesday we didn't see anything wednesday we saw team of the week super controversial team of the week thursday we saw the brand new breakout promo Really cool promo. Definitely, you know, happy to see EA trying out new things, and especially when these new things do hit. Saturday, we saw Legends. Kind of a mid-Legends drop, to be completely honest, but we did see that overall increase on Legends. And then Sunday, well, that's today. Now, going forward, the content should be pretty lined up up until the end of Season 2. We can take a look here and see how many days are left in Season 2. I am recording this video Saturday night. Sorry, not sorry. But we should have 23 days left in Season 2, so about three more weeks of content prediction videos or Sundays until we got to start thinking about season three. Season three will be the most feared season. Now, Monday, obviously we are going to get AKAs. AKAs are a staple of Monday content. I think we see AKAs for at least another two weeks or two weeks, two months. Yeah, we are going to have AKAs for a while. Essentially, we should be able to claim at least two or three free AKA players from the tokens. We're getting a free AKA player about every month or so or five weeks. So yeah, about two more months of AKAs before we get something else on Mondays. Now AKAs are getting that 88 overall increased cap. We have been talking about mutt leaks and what players we could potentially be seeing. We should see a Gronkowski. Now these cards will be revealed here today between 12 and 3 p.m. Be on the lookout on my community tab as well as my updates video that will be out later tonight. We'll talk about all the AKA stuff then. But another promo we could potentially see, I've been predicting it for the last few Mondays, is the Hispanic Heritage Month promo. Now the Hispanic Heritage Month was something EA said was coming. And that whole month is currently going on. It started September 15th and runs until October 15th. Now, I think this week is actually the perfect time for them to implement it. These Heritage Month promos are typically a two to three week promo where EA gives us a bunch of free cards and then, you know, drop new little things each and every day or each every week that they have dropped this promo on. Now, EA is giving us something new on Mondays. It seems like on top of AKAs. Last week, we got some more LTDs or some game time players. This week, I really do think we could see the Hispanic Heritage Month promo. Expect to see a bunch of free cards, maybe a free stadium. They did say that in the official season two, you know, like reveal doc that we are getting the Hispanic Heritage Month promo. I'm not pulling this out of my ass. This is something they're going to give us. And they did mention about giving us an Aztec stadium. I'm assuming we're also going to get players. Should be a decent promo for you no money spenders out there. Tuesday, gonna see nothing. I mean, that's very standard. Tuesdays are kind of like your grind through your things you need to grind through. Wednesday, though, is Team of the Week. Yeah, Team of the Week has been one of the more controversial things you guys can see here. I haven't even done my Team of the Week solo challenges. We'll be getting on that now, though. I don't know what Team of the Week's gonna look like. Hopefully, we get packs back, but... If we don't take Team of the Week for what it is, honestly, in my opinion, probably the best thing with Team of the Week is the free Team of the Year player at the very end. Now, we are getting some pretty cool names this year with Team of the Week so far. Kyler Murray, Aiden Hutchinson, and that isn't always the case. Also, adding in that Team of the Week theme team is definitely a major dub regarding the Team of the Week promo, but taking away the packs kind of killed all that momentum they had going for the Team of the Week promo. All in all, though, some really cool names for week one, week two, hopefully week three. We got some big NFL performances, like I said, recording this Saturday night, so I have no Team of the Week predictions, and also, you guys are seeing this before NFL football even starts, but hopefully Jamar Chase has a big day for my fantasy team. Now, Thursday is going to be the breakout promo. Now, it's going to be breakout part two. I don't have any predictions of what that's going to bring. I'm assuming more limited times, more 88, some more 85s. 
I don't know if we see any more 82s. Maybe we see one or two new 82s, but we definitely will be getting more 88s, more 89s, and then maybe like one to four more 85 overalls. All in all, Breakout promo has been a very successful promo in my eyes. I also think when the breakout promo will drop the part two, all of those 88s that dropped in part one should continue to go down in price. Hopefully we see some good special offers, not for us to buy, but for us to capitalize on the market. I want to pick up Devon A chain, but not for 500,000 coins. But then again, we'll just have to wait and see. Very curious to see if they actually update the much, much drafts mode. There's no timer on this, but maybe they will, you know, start stacking the rewards or just, you know, changing something up in here. Hopefully they do. I mean, I'm assuming they will include the part two players. That would be, you know, make too much sense. But again, it's EA. We'll just have to wait and see. And then finally, on Saturday, obviously Legends now. Like I said, Legends on Saturday or this last Saturday were kind of disappointing. Uh, Charles Woodson having 88 speed. It's not great. Hopefully with the, you know, the next evolution of these 89 and 88 overall legends, we get something a little bit more, you know, just better than this 88 speed, 89 overall Charles Woodson. All right, fellas, so I am currently over on Mutt Leaks before we get out of here because I do want to show you guys and kind of have this all summarized up of what we should be expecting player-wise when it comes to Mutt Leaks for this week in Mutt. First things first, the week seven legends. So not the first thing we're getting, but on Saturday, the expected legends are Eric Dickerson. Yeah, he's back. Junior Seau and Jonathan, o Jonathan Ogden. Wow, what a mispronunciation of that name that was. Yeah, all in all, decent little drop. Dickerson obviously going to be one of the best players in the game. I think he will be better than Charles Woodson. I would hope so. Now this is where it gets fun. AKAs, you know how I mentioned earlier. Hope you guys saved your tokens. We got some pretty cool names coming. First up, Vintage Epic Gronkowski. Now, if you guys have watched my update on every glitch videos, we talk about these every single night. So we'll go through these pretty quick, but just so we kind of know what we should be expecting, Harrison Smith Hitman. That is that. This is one of the cooler card arts they've made. I mean, I say this pretty much every time we look at card art because card art this year, it's back. Creed Humphreys, Country Strong. I mean, it's a center. You can't. It's a center. Brian Arakpo. I don't know what his nickname is, but he's a commander legend, so I'm I'm here for it. Anytime we get a commander in the AKA promo besides Scary Terry, it is a W. And then finally, Country Vintage LTD. If the one LTD I pull this year is a Creed Humphrey center, oh my god, I'm gonna be pressed. And fellas, that is everything we got today regarding content predictions. I did want to take a moment and say thank you. The love you guys showed this last week, so like Sunday to today, or like last Sunday to this Sunday, through the freaking roof, I love and appreciate every single one of you. We went up like 70 subscribers over this week, which is like, that's numbers for me, so I just want to say thank you. I freaking love every single one of you. To the OGs, you guys, all absolute goats. You watch every single one of my videos. I know exactly who you are, and I appreciate it. To the new guys, what's up? Must stay locked in. Three videos a day. That is everything we got. I'll catch you guys later though. Peace. Have a good one, fellas.